It sucks that I got to go through all this. Well, potholes so bad that it has one local man filing a claim against the city. And now a new study ranks San Diego eighth in the entire country when it comes to bad streets. Team 10's Melissa Masiha questioned the city about where we stand when it comes to fixing our rough rides. This new report says more than half of San Diego's major roads look like this, bumpy, and just plain old ugly, and it's costing drivers big bucks, about $843 a year. I'm still dealing with it. I mean, look at that. Nobody can fix that. That can't be fixed. It's not like, you know, I was going off-roading. LaVon Foxworth blames this on a San Diego City pothole. They can't bang that or weld it back in because it'll crack. He can't use his car right now, and replacing the tire with the right one is harder than he thought. It's a set, and they don't even make the sets anymore. So uh, there's pretty much, I've already looked all over, and they don't even make the sets. But to get another pair of rim, for a rim like that, a uh, 22s, there'll be at least 650. The study by the nonprofit organization TRIP of Washington, D.C., shows 51% of San Diego roads are in poor condition. We brought the report to the city. The data that they use is a general data for, again, for the region. Chris McFadden, San Diego's Director of Transportation and Stormwater, says the report looked at roads throughout the entire county. He told Team 10 the city data paints a better picture. What we like to do is use engineering data that we do have very specific. We have driven all of these roads every day. McFadden says 25% of San Diego roads are less than perfect. Even though the city poured $90 million into fixing roads this fiscal year, Foxworth said it isn't enough. Could you go ahead and help the situation out or fix the situation in our city? Because we truly could use it. Melissa Masiha, Team 10. And this is the city's interactive map right here. It shows which roads are good. They're highlighted in green. And then you notice all the red. The red are the roads that need to be repaired. Well, this map is from 2011, and city officials say it will be updated in the next month. Ron